Um. Okay. So this is our cathedral. And I see this as the cathedral of the mind. That this is the monument to Larry Ruvo's passion and to his pain at losing his father. So he attracted Frank Geary to build this unbelievable cathedral, which looks kind of smashed in from the outside and opens up into this wonderful, awesome space inside. Now I want you to look at the windows. There are 199 non-identical windows in this space. Each one of them, you can see that little wire, is on a separate motor, which is controlled by the sun. So as the sun goes over and the Nevada sky passes by, these windows open and close to control the environment within our cathedral. What? And then you can see this beautiful painting. This is called Cosmic Cerebral Space. And it was commissioned by Steve Wynn for this exact space. So it was painted by James Rosenquist to commemorate and to consecrate this building and all that we do here to preserve the integrity of the mind. I hope people can appreciate that that is a massive painting. It's 24 feet tall, uh, and this is one of the few spaces that, that could have such a painting. And as I see, see this, this wonderful cathedral, I think, of course, as the, of the Sistine Chapel. And I think of the paintings of the Sistine Chapel, and I see this as the equi our equivalent of the paintings of the Sistine Chapel. So when Larry Ruvo said, with this building, he had built Yankee Stadium, and now he had to get you, Babe Ruth, you're, you're performing a lot of functions here. You're like an ambassador, an educator, and a mentor, uh, an inspirer, as well as your official duties. So we have three great programs that I'm very proud of. We have a patient's first philosophy. So everything that we do centers on the patient's concerns first. Second, we have the deepest caregiver programs that I have experienced in any, in any clinical setting. Uh, and we have music and theater and dance that recognize that caregivers are facing the challenge of a lifetime. And they are going to go through that challenge for 10 years, and if they're spouses, it's going to be most of the rest of their life that they spend in this role. And we were speaking earlier that caregiving may not be the best word for this because these are partners. Uh, and this partnership has often existed for many, many years and, it, and it, they don't suddenly become a new role simply because the person has begun to have a brain disease. They have, they're still their partner through the whole disease.